Um, as kind of our meditation, we're gonna do more of a physical meditation where we are stimulating some of the places on our body that help us drop into what's called a parasympathetic state. So parasympathetic uh, nervous system is a system, nervous system that's nourishing and allows for healing and allows for relaxation and better absorption of our nutrients in our gut and is the side of the nervous system that you do tap into when you meditate. So um, it kind of goes with this meditation. Um, it's also the, the state of uh, your nervous system that you need to be in in order for neuroplasticity to occur. So you could be doing all these great exercises and drills, but if you're not in the parasympathetic um, side of your nervous system, it's not gonna stick. So it's really important to be in this calm, cool, and collected state. So we're just gonna start by warming up your hands. And we're just going to place our hands on our neck and give ourselves just a little bit of a neck massage. And then take one of your hands and wrap it all the way around to the other side of your neck. So maybe the fingers even uh, come popping out. And we're gonna traction the skin on the back of your neck, pulling it across and looking to your elbow while looking at your elbow. And the skin's gonna glide across this, um, your, maybe the base of your hairline. And then we'll just reset and bring your hand to the other side Pull across, looking at your elbow. That was almost as if you're trying to get all of your tissues to the other side of your neck. So you using the skin and tugging on the skin, that's really important. Pulling across. And one more time on that side. And then just put your hands in your lap and go ahead and look to one side and look to the other side. And maybe you notice the difference between the right and the left side, the side that you just worked and the side that is yet to be worked. Yeah. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So other hand wrap around all the way so that your fingers grab onto some of the tissues there. And we're gonna pull across and look at your elbow. And then pull across and look at your elbow. Mm -hmm. One more time. And then looking to the right and looking to the left. And hopefully you've increased that range of motion just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. right, and then we're gonna just give our collarbones a little bit of a massage. Right underneath your collarbone, maybe up in the front part of the neck. You can start pinching the skin a little bit on the front part of your neck. And do the same thing on the other side, rubbing the collarbone. And then start rubbing the neck, pinching a little bit of the skin, getting some tugging maybe in the front part of your neck and your throat. Go ahead and bring your thumbs along the bottom of your jawline. 
And you'll sort of hook your thumbs underneath the jawline. Oh, I know it makes me say it sound funny. Just massaging the root of your tongue. So this would be a good one to do before voice class actually. All of this loosening up all of the fascia in your throat and your tongue. And then we're gonna go ahead and just take two fingers. I like taking the ring and middle finger and just sweeping across your face here. You don't have to press super hard. You're just sweeping. Ladies, if you've ever gotten a face, or actually Adam too, if you've ever gotten a facial, giving yourself a little bit of a facial here, yeah. And then letting that sort of drop down to the apex of your chin, sweeping out and then down. Last one. Done. And then we're gonna take the same fingers and sweep across the forehead, right above your eyebrow. There's a nerve that comes out right above the eyebrow. So we're gonna stimulate that one. always feels so good. I swear I like facials more than massages. <laughs> I think I, and once I learned about all this stuff, I was like, that's why I like facials more. It's because it gets into the nervous system. Good. And then we're gonna take your index finger and we're gonna land it sort of right underneath your eyebrow, in between your eyebrow and the corner of your eye. And you're just gonna get the stickiness of your of your finger on the eyebrow. So I'm not pressing down, but I'm like sticky. And I'm just gonna do like the smallest circles of my fingers possible, barely perceivable. Sitting up nice and tall. This one's a, called eye lift, or no, this is called face lift, but it lifts your eyes. So if you're feeling tired, this is a good one. Good. And then go ahead and just trace down the side. Let's lay down on our backs and you can um, lay in a comfortable position, but I would suggest if this is comfortable for you, if you're able to do this, to lay with your hands behind your head and you can traction some of that area in the back of your neck. We'll just do a little five minute breath. So with just a little bit of traction uh, upward, which helps you nod your chin a little bit. You can do this with your eyes closed or open. Just take your eyes to the left corner of your eyeball sockets and hold there for about 30 seconds, just to the left side of your face and holding. Noticing what colors you see if your eyes are closed, what colors you see when you go to the left side of your face. How does it feel? Does it feel like you're straining? Is it easy to roll to that side? Does it make your breath go easier or harder? And then go ahead and bring your eyeballs to the right side of your face. And again, if your eyes are closed, you may see a different color over on that side. Does 
this side feel easier or harder to go than the other side? Do you find your eyes wandering a little bit more or less? Do you find your breath slowing or are you holding your breath? And then just bring your eyes to whatever position is most natural. You can bring your hands down by your side or finding a different position for your shoulders. Take a few breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Every time you inhale, Send that bit of air to a different part in your body. Maybe you send it to your favorite part of your body. Maybe you send it into an area that needs a little bit more love and attention. You send a breath to the place that frustrates you the most. And sending your belly, or start sending your breath into your belly. Bring your hands onto your stomach with a little bit of weight through them. Now, as you breathe into uh, your thorax, that air might need to find a different place to go because your hands are pushing on your stomach. There's not as much space there. So we're gonna start sending our breath to our ribs out to the sides towards our elbows. Getting that expansion right and left. more breaths. We're going to play with some facial expressions and I think we're all laying down so we can be as still as we want and no one's going to see me. So I'm going to have you guys make the biggest, cheesiest smile you can possibly make. Go ahead and stick out your tongue. Give yourself a frown. Give yourself a cockeyed smile. Harrison Ford style. Other cockeyed smile. Put your tongue into your right cheek. Stretch out your cheek muscles. Trace the front of your teeth with your, th your tongue so that you stretch out the upper lip. And then over to the other side, stretch out your cheek on the other side. Go ahead and puff up your cheeks with a breath and slosh the air around like mouthwash. So to wind your ankles and wind your wrists, roll onto your side, press yourself up. and smile at the camera. <laughs>
Now you have all of your facial muscles ready to go. <laughs> nice work, you guys. Thanks for coming.